Today at Mile Deep we are working on one of the dirtiest vehicles we've ever had come in. It's uh, been bought into us by Paul from Adventure365, go and check his YouTube channel out. And it has been laying in for the last three weeks I think um, or so, so it's uh, got a good layer of mud on it. So this is going to be one tough challenge for us here today. So to start off, we're going to be cleaning the wheels today and we're going to be using a variety of products to do that. The first thing we're going to be using is a new product we've been developing. It's called Reveal. It's going to be our dedicated wheel cleaner. We're also going to be using tried and tested standard products we use on everything release. That's our concentrated citrus pre-wash. That'll help um, sort of break down all the grime and the, the mud and everything here. And we're also going to be using purple, which is our iron and fallout remover. So we've completed the wheel section of the vehicle now, we've decontaminated the wheel rims using purple and release and uh, reveal shampoo and we've cleaned all the tyres off as well. The next stage we're going to do is we're going to move to the underbody and lower section of the vehicle, we're going to hit it with some mild deep release. I'm, uh, I've already prepped some of the uh, areas where there's large build up with some neat release and we've mixed some up here one to one which we're going to apply with a foam cannon.
So we've completed the pre-wash stage on the vehicle now, cleaned all the wheels down and all underneath, uh, got rid of a lot of mud. Um, it was pretty challenging to be fair. And we're gonna hit it now with some snow foam to do the top and we're just gonna clean in the engine bay as well. So I've completed both pre-wash stages on the vehicle now. We did initially a citrus pre-wash that got rid of all the bulky dirt and debris from the vehicle. And then we hit it with snow snow foam, which got rid of the final contamination. Next stage is to use cleanse. That's our pH neutral shampoo. And we will do uh, a mitt wash. So, mitt wash is complete on this vehicle now, so we're going to move on to getting some protection onto the body now. We're going to use a brand new product, Maldeep Shield, that uh, should be out by the time this video airs I believe. Uh, it's basically a ceramic foam sealant, so dead easy to put on, basically mix it 1 to 4 ratio in a snow foam cannon, hit it over the vehicle, leave it to dwell for sort of up to 5 minutes jet wash it off, dry the vehicle. Leaves a fantastic ceramic um, coat on the vehicle, fantastic gloss, and it should last for up to about six months.
So we've got all the exterior of the vehicle cleaned and we've pulled it into the bay. We've just been cleaning the interior. Now, first of all, we've used Refresh. That's our antiviral and antibacterial cleaner to clean all the hard surfaces and high contact areas. And then we've dressed it with Elevate. We're just about now to do the glass with Vision. So I'm gonna grab that now. And I'm gonna grab a glass cloth. I'm gonna clean the glass, so come with me. So we're nearing the end of the detail on this one now and it has been one tough challenge. Uh, we've put all our products to the absolute test I think this one uh, but it's looking pretty good now. Just left to do now we're going to finish the tyres with some mild deep black and, and a little bit a few bits of the trim and then we are done and we will bring you some shots of the finished article very shortly. So this one has been an absolutely epic detail for us here. It's one of the dirtiest vehicles we've ever had in, but I think we've done a pretty good job of it. Fairly happy with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it looks spot it's on. It's pretty nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So Paul's going to tell you a little bit about the truck and what it's used for. Right, this is Heimdall. Uh, he's a 300 TDI and he's custom built. We built him um, a couple of years ago now. But he is primarily, primarily our camera car for when we're doing filming on our own channel, which is Adventure 365. 
he goes everywhere, he's the lead vehicle, so if there's anything in, in the way, trees, mm -hmm. bushes, mud, he's the one who goes through first. And as you found out by the amount of trees that yeah, were in the we dashboard. Yeah, we have found quite a lot of sort of uh, bits of twig and stuff. We? we even actually, I will get a shot of this, we actually found there was a, a razor fish shell stuck in there yeah. from when you were on the beach the other week, which yeah. is quite impressive to be fair. Never seen one of them on, in, stuck in a vehicle before. <laughs> you, you'll be amazed what you find stuck in our vehicles. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, these are primarily our camera car lead vehicle uh, on the channel. We do have another vehicle now, but he is our home on wheels. He goes everywhere in the world. He's been to the Pyrenees, he's been to, you name it, he's been there. Andorra, all those sorts of places. And he is our home on wheels and he gets treated like that too. Yeah, epic expedition vehicle. Yep, yeah. so it surely is. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's excellent. So well, it's been a pleasure to have it in. Um, yeah, give Paul's ch channel like Adventure Three Six Five. We'll drop some links in the description below. And uh, yeah, don't forget give our video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of all the new content coming from us here. So see we'll see you again. See you later, in the next guys. Video, yeah.